Hello everybody, welcome back for another session of The Hoppery. My name is Mark Starr, and tonight I've got my buddy Martin over to drink some beer with me. Can you believe it? I've got visitor number two. How you doing, Martin? I'm good, Mark. Happy to be here. Good, good. Um, well, so tonight we are, I know uh, Martin is really into hoppy beers, and uh, I was at the liquor store the other day, and noticed that they had this beer called Black Pearl, um, which is by a brewery called RJ Rocker. Um, I'm not really that familiar with them, to be honest with you, but, you know, as I've said, you know, in past sessions of the Hoppery, I'm really into the kind of darker hoppy beers, and so I figured, what the hell, let's knock this one out. Why not? You know, yeah. let's go for it. Let's go for it. So I'll go ahead and start pouring it, and uh, won't you tell me how your uh, vacation was has been? Did you have a good Christmas? Yeah, it's been nice and kind of quiet, hanging out with the family, you know? Yeah. Enjoying some good, you know, craft beers over the vacation. So. Yeah. Watching any good football games or anything like that? Or uh, unfortunately, I watched the Minnesota game on Monday oh, yeah. night. And, uh, He's a Vikings fan. That's I'm a right. Vikings fan, so I'm a glutton yeah. for punishment here. Oh, that's all right. They, you know, they've had a better year than the Chiefs. You, you know, that's for, for sure. But I don't know how I got some head on mine, and yours didn't get any. So maybe pour it a little bit a little harder in there. there. We'll go ahead and give it a little swirl here and try to get some uh, action going on in there, but. What do you say we go ahead and stick our nose in there and see what it smells like? So this doesn't, right off the bat, this doesn't smell anything like what I thought it would. You know, they talk about a dark IPA. I'm not really getting a whole lot of hops out of there. No, I'm not getting that normal kind of hoppy smell that you get from an IPA. I almost you know, smell kind of like some earthiness in there. You know, like it smells like a cave or, you know, it's got like a... Almost like a like a, a burnt toffee sort of smell, but I, I get a lot of earth. There's a lot of earthiness in there, you know. Like I imagine going down to a cave, you know, and and having some toffee, and that that's really what this kind of smells like to me. Yeah, I kind of get that you know wet, dark, you know, kind of dank cave kind of smell yeah. in that. So. Hmm. Well, should we see what it tastes like then? Yeah. All right, man. Let's let's knock it out. So I actually think it tastes a little bit better than it smells. I, you know, I think the smell, I won't say the smell is misleading. Um, it's actually got kind of a nice uh, roastiness. It kind of reminds me of a, like a light porter. You know, mm -hmm. are you getting any of the coffee or? Yeah, at the end there, I kind of get that coffee taste to it. Yeah. I get a lot of coffee. I get a lot of, um, you know, like nicely roasted malts. I, I'm not getting a whole lot of hops though. So. You know, in terms of calling this a, you know, like a dark IPA, I, I, I don't know that I necessarily agree with that. Um, because it's misleading, do I think it's a bad beer? No, I actually kind of like it, but... I get a little bit of, um, you know, kind of like some of those darker fruits in there as well, like kind of in the back, like prunes. Um, you know, maybe like some raisins there, you know, get some dates, you know, right. that type of thing. So. Yeah, definitely get some of those kind of darker fruits. It actually kind of reminds me a lot of a cross between, um, you know, like a quadruple and a porter. So if you take a quadruple and a porter and you kind of meld, um, you know, the, the, the good qualities of both of those, that's kind of what you get out of here, but, but definitely not um, an IPA. I want to smell this one again, though. I, I'm really kind of intrigued at how differently, you know, the nose is from the actual taste, so. And, you know, I get a little hop out of there, like, um, I wouldn't say it's like a citrusy sort of hop or a pineapple-y or, you know, pine or anything like that. I would say more of a grassy uh, hop component, but it's, it's way down in there, to be honest with you. So what's your overall impression of it so far? I like it. You know, it's a little different. I'm used to more of a hoppy type of IPA. Yeah. And it's got a little bit of a different taste to it, but I, you know, enjoy it. I think it's a solid beer. I do like it. And I think this one, um, you know, and let me just give you kind of a brief history, um, not even really a brief history, but some, uh, a brief background on the brewery. Um, they're called RJ Rockers, um, and, and as I said, I've not really heard a whole lot about them until just, you know, recently when I went to uh, one of our local liquor stores here, but um, <clears throat> they're from South Carolina, 
and I think they've probably, I think they've only been around since about 97, 98, so, you know, maybe 10 years, 10, 11 years. Um, and I know that the, uh, the brewer that, um, you know, that makes these beers, one of the things that I found pretty interesting is that his name was Mark as well, um, and that he was also in the military, and one of his passions was to, you know, brew beer. And, and you know, like most breweries, they have their traditional, um, you know, year-round beers where they have, you know, like their wheats and, you know, flavored beers and things like that. And this is actually one of the only beers that I've seen um, on, on their website, actually, that comes in this bottle. I will warn you ahead of time that it's pretty difficult to get the cap off on these, so you know, just go ahead and cut around the top, pull off the cap. That way, we went ahead and did it so that we didn't have to waste anybody's time pulling the. Uh, well, we didn't want to waste anybody's time busting caps. How about that? <laughs> That's you know, right. and we're busting caps all over the place. Yeah, so, we're already uh, doing enough of that. You know, we don't need to do that on the camera. <laughs> But yeah, this one uh, this one clocks in right at about uh, what was it nine and a half percent? Yeah, nine and a half percent alcohol by volume. So, you know, Martin and I and I have each had you know what maybe four or six ounce pours here, and you know it's it's well on its way to uh, being done. In fact, that's the end of it right there. So, you know, pretty good sized beer for two people. I you know I don't know that I would want to sit down by myself and drink this whole thing, um, but. All in all, I think it's a uh, pretty successful beer. I'm trying to think of what I would pair with this in terms of food. Um, obviously, you would, you know, maybe have, I think this would probably go pretty well with, you know, like a steak or, you know, mm -hmm. something that's dark and heavy. I mean, we're, we're right in the middle of January and it's, you know, pretty cold around here. So, um, you know, definitely, you know, something with a little bit of... Some type of hearty meal to kind a of hearty meal. pair it with. You exactly. Know, like steak or, you know... It's like a heavy soup, you know, to kind of go with it. Big beef, you know, beef stew or something like that. But uh, so anyway, well, so I, I, I think if I were to score this one on, you know, a scale of 1 to 100, which, you know, as you've probably mm -hmm. seen the show, I, I do that from time to time. I'm not, you know, I'm not blown away by this. I, I actually think it's really enjoyable. Um, you know, I'd probably go around 87, 88 for something like this. Um it's nothing to scoff at. Again, if you're into porters, um, I think you'll really like this one. Um, it's like a porter, but as I said earlier, you know, kind of goes more into the range of, uh, you know, like an Abbey quadruple. It's, you know, kind of a combination of those two. But so what do you say we go ahead and sit here for the next, what, 20 minutes and finish these off and, you know, maybe come back and do a, another review and we'll go from there. Sounds good to me, Mark. Cool. All right. Well, if you're following me on Twitter, you can go to twitter.com backslash thehoppery. Always go to my website, which is www.thehoppery.com. And again, you know, check out some of the music that I'm putting on there as well. I kind of share with you what I've been listening to on my iPod lately. Maybe it's a band that you've not heard of, and maybe I'll introduce you to a good beer and some good music. You know, I mean, what's better than beer and music? Yeah, I mean, that's, you know, it doesn't get any better than that if it you doesn't. ask me. It doesn't, so... All right, well, thanks a lot for coming back to the Hoppery. My name is Mark Starr, and we'll see you next time. Cheers.